So a comfortable uh, 4-1 win uh, at home today. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, really, really, really happy. Um, you know, the last two games we had were playing against you know higher league opposition and just because we were playing against sort of a lower league opposition we did we knew it wouldn't be easy just for that reason so it was um you know our job to make sure we did it you know had the right intensity that we were going to go and be convincing in the game and we did that I think after the first sort of 10-15 I think it was I think we had probably slightly more of the ball but it was still quite level I thought they were in our face I thought they started well and then once we sort of got a foothold of the game and, and played well and started popping it around and moving quickly I thought we just sort of went strength to strength and even when we made the changes in the second half the f- sloppy goal just you know that they got which was frustrating but apart from that again just got stronger and stronger and and started to play in a way that we really want to start playing in, in league games so we're really happy with the with the result and the performance and uh, uh two goals for Josh Bright today two very good goals um he was linked with other clubs before pre-season. How glad are you that he's stayed? Yeah, really, really, really happy. It was obviously one of our main aims was to keep everyone here. That was the first thing because obviously we did so well, especially in the second half of last year. So my first thing was to make sure everyone stayed and he was one of the major ones to, you know, we had to convince and stuff and he's happy to be here. And you can see today just with not just his goals, but his work rate, we know exactly what we're going to get from him and he'd be such a big loss so yeah it was vital that we that we kept him and we're all really really happy that he stayed so after today all of your four strikers have scored today um lewis yet again scoring um has has lewis pretty much guaranteed his place in in the starting 11 now i mean how how is your current what is your current view of the, of your four strikers it's really tough because obviously um wickens scored on Saturday and then we had all the other three all score tonight and, and they've scored at other times as well so we're just happy that they're all making it really hard for me but I, I, I actually don't know I, was, I said to them at half time and, that, and before the game I, I said that I wasn't doing it just to motivate them I do not know what my first 11 is going to be because everyone has to compete and, then, and that's what we want so while someone played really well tonight there's still two three games so it honestly is it's not just sort of a cliche or me trying to make get better out of players who won't be playing I, they, they all really have a chance to do it you know we haven't got anyone anyone who isn't featuring and not featuring already so anyone who is featuring in the in the big numbers we've got a rule room with a shout um there's a there's very various things like people play cricket and things like that but yeah we we don't know who's going to play and lewis is, lewis is one of them but obviously if he plays anything like he today i mean, I mean he was just unstoppable at times he was so good so yeah, it's very likely he'll be involved with it, but he's up against three other lads who are really, really decent. So it's really good. And obviously we would just want to keep people like that here so that even when whoever doesn't play, it'll be just a long season. And we just want to keep us and all the people happy and the people that don't even get into the team will play in the reserves, hopefully, and just make the whole club stronger. So that's what we're hoping in the long run. You said, um, I think it was last week after the Froome game, that you've got three or four players for each position. How are the players responding to that in training? Are they uh, working up to the challenge or is is there a little bit of like, oh, well, you know, other players are going to start ahead of me? What's the attitude like? It varies on different people. I like that there have been a couple of people who we thought might might be like that. But for me, in training, it's been very, very high intensity. Like it's, you can tell that everyone understands there's a, there's a challenge going on because normally people sort of ease up a little bit. And even today in like the game, when, when the game was won, people were still really putting it about, popping it around, working hard, you know, chasing lost causes because they know that that's what I'm looking for. And I've explained to that, that those are the little things that could make them get into the team. It's not the way I summed it up in, in one of the things I said to him is that playing well might not be enough. Like they might, they have to be exceptional because they might have someone else in their spot who's played a little bit better than them, even though they're putting seven or eight out of 10 in a game. There's, you know, Corey's a fine example of that at the moment. It's such a shame that he, he's a bit quicker, so he won't be there for the first few Saturdays of the season. But the way he's playing at the moment is just, he, he would really be in with a shout because he's just been exceptional. So, and people around him know that and, and sort of, I'm sure everyone's looking. So it's, it's, it's good that that's happening. And yeah, it, it's still going to have to be that way. There's a few that have been out because of injuries and stuff. So we're hoping that um, people are getting a bit more game time here and there and they're making a good sort of, sort of account for themselves. And, and it's, and it's making the team play better, I think. On the topic of Corey, he seems to be uh, improving with every preseason game. With tonight, him even having shots on goal. Um, how much of that do you think is down to the youth system at the football club? Yeah, obviously having a system here in place is really good, and you hope that people can, you know, come up and take their chances. You know, people 
need to make themselves available and when they do it'll be probably through the reserves and then if they stand up for them then they get a chance with us and that's what happened that's what's happened with Corey he's just last year he sort of stood out especially second half of the season and then um, we played him in a few games and we had a lot of senior players so he was probably unlucky to not get a few more games I think he, he did well enough to to play I just thought it was better for him to get more 90 minutes in the reserves but he's just sort of especially in this pre-season he's just taking his chance with both hands I mean we played him I chucked him in against Froome on purpose because I wanted to see what it'd be like against a really good team and he looked just as good as everyone else on the pitch. Um, and then today we started him and then I wanted to give him the second half in centre midfield because I know that's where he plays for the under-18s and he was just as good there. And then we put him on on the right wing as well because I wanted to see what he was like there. So it's really nice to know where he can play loads of different positions. But yeah, it, it, to have this wouldn't all be possible. A lad like him might have gone somewhere else and he wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the under-18s. So even when you have one or two little little gems coming through, it makes the whole thing system worth it. And he's and he's just he's been great. So we touched on a couple of players that played well today, but who do you think was man of the match overall? Um, I was thinking about this because obviously I know you like to ask that question, but I really wouldn't want to put a label on that. I think everyone really really played well. I mean the defence was really played out of the back exactly how I wanted whilst defending really well. I think every midfielder worked that worked so hard whilst again using the ball really well. I think the front four, when they all played up times, were, were brilliant. I think you've got to give a mention to Corey just because of his age and, and run it, you know, just being faultless for the whole game. Lewis looks unstoppable at the moment again, so it's just really good to see him go. But Jamal got his first goal, and then once once that happened, he looked really lively. And and I I, I could mention everyone, but just I think the whole team was brilliant today. 